you. So right now, like, I'm really, like, usually in survival maps and in PvP servers, but the main things to, uh, needed to survive is a really easy way to set up camp and move camp. Because if you don't set up camp, um, you're going to get killed by monsters or other people on PvP. And if you uh, set up a too elaborate camp with a lot of defenses, you will, um, and it gets raided, you'll get raided really bad. It will take all your stuff. And it will be really hard to move if you, um, your base gets inhabited by other PvP people or other players on PvP. Because I've had that problem many times. I usually use a simple two hole, like three block deep a base with a crafting table on the bottom which usually serves me purpose until I found out that uh, my username was shown and many people killed me that way I usually, all, I usually also kept a chest over there they should loot me really easily and so I'm showing you a really really simple way to set up camp right over here first thing you'll need is a source of light if you're if you found some coal you want to use torches I'll show you all the different ways uh, or if you have some flint and steel for some chance or some nether rack um, I'm be, instead of flint and steel I'll be using a fire charge it'll still work with flint and steel um, or some and you'll, obviously you'll have wood by then so yeah so the first thing you need to do and I'll be showing variations for a pvp server we want to be as hidden as possible because, okay. so the first thing you want to do is go to a remote place where I usually uh, almost like really far deep into the map people won't be coming and keep a, a really good sense of defense keep your sword out never be like too uh, like and don't be too scared um you might want to have a hidden chest somewhere okay so I'll be starting with a tutorial you make a small hole over here Sorry about the lagginess, it's the screen recording that's making it so laggy. So, you make this small uh, hole, and what you want to do is, wait for me, just take out the snow off. Okay, now let's go back in. First thing you want to do is put up some a piece, a source of light, extremely little, so it cannot be detected. The person were to be mining. Or for some reason, pop upon your little. And like I said, um, make it really, really deep into the map. Don't put it like right at the entrance of the PvP. Uh, and usually, and most PvP servers have allow you to have like currency, digital money. So with that, you can usually buy some good supplies with the armor, weapons, stuff like that. So and you can also buy a uh, buy area. I believe. So look, look what the torch has done to the area. It's given it a small illuminated effect. And if this were to continue, uh, people would easily figure out there's a torch underneath, either from a reckless miner or a person's base. So obviously, if they know it's uh, your base, they'll just try to come in. And sorry about the flying; it's not working right now because of the lagginess. So when you first, the first thing you want to do is um, try to make a similar area, to like just like your surroundings. Currently, I'm in the snow biome. So I'll look at that Enderman over there. Enderman. Okay. So what you need is, if you do not have grass blocks, right, like from from the shop on, on your PVP server, you would need dirt and cobble or regular stone. Uh, I prefer cobble because. Actually, I prefer stone more. Well, because they'll think it's more natural and not try to come. They pop things like all the abandoned mine shaft. And most people are smart enough now to go into a mine shafts in PvP. One, because there obviously there's going to be other players down there looking for some good stuff. Uh, and two, there are a ton of mobs down there. Slimes, ir irritating stuff like that. Okay, I just messed up over there. Something like that. You might want to trail that piece of dirt down another block and then keep it down another block and then two blocks of stone two blocks of dirt on top and two blocks of stone 
Over here we have a good loop of iron, you might want to mine that. And what you need to do now is tell and make like make some kind of so so the people just don't loot your stuff and you if you somehow come across this area again, you know uh, where your stuff is. So you might want to like you might want to have some landmarks of how you got there. So what you need is a chest. Oh like most servers they have ender chests to keep your stuff safe. So and usually they're available in the market. Like those with the digital money. So you'll see that those little flickering stuff down there. And your magic. Okay. So and then you just need some stone. And back at spawn, there should be another ender chest. We can easily access the stuff, get you get your armor. The only thing you'll be losing is your armor. So just put two blocks on top. And wait, let me just store something for an example. <gasps> no. Okay. Let's put that back and let's put something we do not want, like some. What? Why is it white? Not sure why that's happening. Okay, it's creeping me out. Put some diamond. Useless stuff that I have. La 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 la. Oh, I don't want this. Some of this gunpowder and that. And. One, actually, you don't. Need, if you are using a, a regular chest, you might want, not want to keep it hidden. A, a regular chest you want to hide. An ender chest, you can keep it right out in the open. Um, because on the servers, the the ender chests are pri private, so nobody else can see what's inside them. So, so when you go back to spawn, you'll have everything. So for the ender chest, I'll just making some fun of from there. So I would recommend putting a real chest down there. But uh, if you prefer hiding your ender chest because the PvP server says, or your regular chest, if you keep your reg regular chest in the open, they'll loot it. So as you see, my stuff is still here. Now, as a brief explanation, I'll go back out all the way over this, over, over here. Oh, sorry about the lagginess. I don't like it either. We put them in ender chest and my stuff is still there. As you can see. Hello bats. Okay. Let the bats give us the power. And so if you and um if you ever feel that you're being raided, if you hear like footsteps or you just feel unsafe or for some reason like at most times when you can, like if you're not going through your chest or anything. You want to click shift at all times because your username may appear in the other person's. Uh, they can see you, you'll see it right through blocks. So that's the thing that's really creepy. I raided this guy really easy because he did not follow simple rules like this. And he kept his chest right on the open. Precious fireworks star. Okay. So he just kept his precious stuff right on the open. Um, his base was a dirt shack right near spawn. Well, the moment you get into PV the PvP arena, his, ho his house is just like right there. It was raided many times, but he kept coming back uh, with more stuff. And he just like he just kept donating to the server, so he was like, so the server kept giving him money and stuff like that. So he just kept coming back to the dirt shop. I mean the dirt dirt shack, and. So like the chest is hitting, nobody can tell what block the chest is under. So they'll never know, you'll respawn, you'll come back to the same area and mine it. But otherwise you can just use this ender chest right over here. And your stuff is all in there. Okay, and for moving, first thing you want to do is make sure there's no traces that of you being here. The keep your light source and make an exit. Usually keep a few blocks, like one block. Okay. Uh, usually wait until it's daytime so you're not attacked by. Actually, wait until it's night. Wait, I'm not sure. Daytime or nighttime, depending on your preferences. If you're bad at m killing mobs, you will want to go to daytime. If you're really good at killing mobs, and you want to go to nighttime because uh, stalkers usually come out at nighttime to come and ambush people while they're working. 
and they go around hunting stuff and during the nighttime killing mobs. Or if you prefer daytime, you'll be more out in the open, more easily spotted. There'll be nothing protecting you like mobs because people are not going to come near near you if you're surrounded by mobs. Um, yeah. So I prefer um nighttime because like nobody nobody like dares to come out at night like from their bases. So usually, unless the people are really really equipped with the stuff that they need to survive. So every time I see that, I go near the nearest mob. If I see a creeper, I run right at it. I don't care whether I get blown up or not. As long as I have some kind of iron armor on, I just run toward the creeper, take the damage that it gives me, and I just stay happy with it. Uh, I eat some pork chops, and I get out of there. They don't want to follow you into a death trap. So usually because they're not smart enough. So you just run right to, to the creeper or mob, get in, get inside um, the pack of mobs, and just stay there uh, with your sword, hitting them back, not letting them touch you. So they will not dare to approach you. They know you're surrounded by mobs. They're not foolish enough. So first thing you do is take your chest, loot it, take it out, all out. Or if you have an ender chest, leave it, just destroy it. And then, the, and just just fill it up, mine everything, and then. And just instead of just leaving a gaping hole in the wall that tells people you've mined there, just just like remove everything. And one thing you do not need to leave is a light source that can easily get can easily be, be tracked back to you because a light source means a person. Uh, like large gaping holes in the wall can easily be explained by uh, creeper explosions and. Like stuff like that, like really natural Minecraft stuff, or a natural cave, or a natural gaping hole. So, like, if you find a gaping hole with you, um, you might want to. If you have iron ore with you, you could put like a piece of iron in there, in the giant gaping hole. So fill up where you are, fill her up out into the open world. But let me for better effects. Quick time set. My. So I said time tonight, uh, um, just so I'm not like acting like I'm super rich, instead of having a diamond sword, I'll take out an iron sword just to act like I'm not like super, super rich. Because obviously you're not going to be running out of diamonds. Oh look, an iron bed. Arrows. Okay. So, back to the topic. Oh look, that's my spaceship. So you go walk around to the next place. If, if you feel you're being raided or you need to move for some reason, uh, take the next available space. And another really good tip is water and stuff that is deadly is a place where people will not go looking for. In the pack, just like I told you, uh, nobody's going to go near you if you're surrounded by hostile mobs. If, or even if you're surrounded by endermen, they do not dare to approach you. So the thing. Like, they won't try to come near you. So if you store your chest underneath lava, there's extremely low chance people are going to go searching through lava. And also a base underwater is extremely helpful. Mobs cannot, get, most mobs cannot get to you. Only mob that can get to, a, to get to you is a slime. And slimes are extremely rare uh, if you're on a regular map or even on a PvP server. So... Like a good underwater base consists of a door for entrance and exit and a chest. So you go down, you put your door there, and if I'm correct, there should be a small area here. Yes. And then you need a light source. What I usually do is, but okay, first you need an area to stay. This is what I usually do. I just take these blocks. You might this this might be extremely deadly, but it's really worth it. I've tried it a few times, never died, but it's really worth it. The risk is worth it. You just close yourself off like this.
so now I only need to use a torch. Simply place your torch on okay. A torch and you can finally see. And let's see how this looks from the outside. So all you see is a door just and they're actually, they don't, they'll just think it's like some kind of natural phenomenon. So they won't be going looking for trouble underwater. And if it's under ice, it'll be much better. It'll just blow out the view because of these pixels. So what should happen is, like, you just come down here to this nice little area. Ah! No, no, it's not supposed to happen. Okay. Oh God. So he's not going there. Okay. We close that up. Put a light source. And I prefer a chest to keep your stuff in. And if this ever gets raided, remember, you're screwed if this gets raided. So if you ever get raided underwater, you're screwed. Just so you know. So you might want to keep this at remote parts of the map and stuff like that, so they can't find you. Okay, so this is the end of my turtle, so I hope this helps you in PvP servers and moving. So remember, keep stuff to the minimum and go to places where people will not think of going.